recording. Right. I'm here with Leslie Patton. She's the manager of the Georgian Hotel, and she took time out of her busy schedule to help us out. So, Leslie, thank you very much. It's my pleasure. Okay. That's it. I'm here with Leslie Patton. She's the manager of the Georgian Hotel, and uh, she took time out of her busy schedule to help us out. So, Leslie, thank you very much. I it's my appreciate pleasure. it. Yeah. Just, uh, just start walking a little bit. All right. Make sure the. Uh... Yeah, I, I got it. All right. Just start walking. So, uh, what are some of the. <laughs> again, what are some of the. Okay, some of the things. All right. Again. You got plenty of tape, don't worry. All right. So what are some of the paranormal things guests tend to experience here at the Georgian? Well, we received many complaints. Oh, it's not complaints. <laughs> you see? Uh, reports, reports. It's probably easier without us watching. All right. So. so what are some of the paranormal things guests tend to experience here at the Georgian? Well, we've received uh, many reports, uh, such as. OK, sorry. We received um, reports about okay. We received okay, reports sorry, about sorry. a number of things, such as lights, lights flickering, flickering. Uh, missing possessions, random cold spots. But what we re we've received the most calls about no. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's fine. What Just we've got, it. Um, but what we've got the most calls no. But what we get a lot of calls. What we get about a lot of calls about is apparitions. Is apparitions uh, appearing in photographs. Okay. Okay. And stay in one spot and sort of like whenever you, you feel the need to look. Right, hold on. I'll always give it a couple seconds. Okay. So, Leslie, what are some of the things? No, okay, again. So, what are some of the paranormal things that. Ke uh, fucking hell. All right. So, what are some of the paranormal things that guests tend to experience while here at the Georgian? Well, uh, we received a number of reports. Uh, such as lights flickering, missing possessions, uh, random cold spots. But what we received the most about... <laughs> that, was <laughs> good, right? that was good, right? Wow, that was really close. And then you just... <clears throat> so what are some of the paranormal things that guests tend to experience while they're, while they're staying here at the Georgian? Well, we've received uh, a number of reports um, about uh, missing possessions, lights flickering, random cold spots. But what we get the most calls about are uh, apparitions. Is apparitions. Is Damn it. That's fine. Is that's fine. apparitions. That's fine. One more. Just keep rolling. Don't, don't stop. Okay. All right, here we go. Yeah. Is apparitions appearing in people's photographs? Okay. okay. Alright. So uh, what, what are some of the paranormal things that guests tend to experience while staying here at the Georgian? Well, we've received uh, reports. Okay. I'll <laughs> okay <laughs> Sorry. So uh, what are some of the paranormal things that people tend to experience while staying here at the Georgian? Well, we've received reports uh, about uh, random, yeah. Okay. We've received reports, hold on a second. Mm -hmm. Reports about a number of things, got it, okay. Okay, one more time. All right, stop recording that. So uh, what are some of the paranormal things that guests tend to experience while staying here at the Georgian? Well, we've received a number of reports, uh, such as, you know, lights flickering, um, random cold spots, missing. That's fine. No, even if it's out of order. That's okay. Fine. Okay, so it's great. It's it's fine. Improv. Yeah, improv. Just improv. Okay. Yeah. okay. All right. So, uh, what are some of the paranormal things that guests tend to experience while staying here at the Georgian? Well, we have received a number of calls, um, reports such as lights flickering, uh, missing possessions, random cold spots. But what we get the most, uh, what we get the most. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one more time. Isn't that, and then no, we most get the calls, most calls. calls. Yeah. And the first one doesn't have calls. That's why I got confused. Okay, but we yeah. get the most calls about. But what we get a lot of calls about um, is apparitions. So, uh, what are some of the paranormal things that guests tend to experience while staying here at the Georgian? Okay, don't worry. Just don't and don't stop. All right. <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> okay, got it. Got it. Okay. <laughs> stop it. Stop it. Okay. All right, here we go. All right. uh, so what are some of the paranormal things that guests tend to experience while staying here at the Georgian? Well, we have received reports uh, about um, random... Okay. okay Hold on. One more time. One more time. This is it. I feel it. Okay. 
So uh, what are some of the paranormal things that guests tend to experience while staying here at the Georgian? Well, we've received uh, a number of reports, um, such as lights flickering, um, missing possessions, random cold spots. But what we seem to get the most is, um, I can't seem to fucking get that fucking part right. And it's because I never say that word in my That's okay. Life. What, calls? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, here we go. One more time. No, it's going to be my favorite word. Okay. All right, here we go. Okay. Wait, let me see if we just... I'm just waiting to do it. Well, we've received reports about a number of things, like flickering, and we hear a lot of calls about Okay, it's apparitions. Okay. Okay, here we go. Uh, so, what, what are some of the paranormal things that guests tend to experience while staying here at the Georgian? Well, we have received reports um, in regards to, you know, missing possessions, mm -hmm. um, lights flickering, random cold spots. But what we seem to get the most... <laughs> She's like moving away from the Okay, that's right. Yeah. Okay, here we go. So uh, what are some of the paranormal things that guests tend to experience while staying here at the Georgian? Well, we have received a number of calls um, about, you know, random lights flickering, mm -hmm. um, missing possessions, certain cold spots. Right. But uh, what we seem to get the most calls about um, is apparitions appearing in people's photographs. Yes, I, I heard about that. Uh, we brought along a camera. Would you mind if we took a few pictures just to, just to test that out? Not at all. Okay, cool. Five, six, seven, eight. So uh, what are some of the paranormal things that guests tend to experience while staying here at the Georgian? Well, we have received many calls um, about, you know, random lights flickering, uh, missing possessions, certain cold spots. But what seems to be the most, um, okay. Keep going. We'll start again. Okay. Okay, this is it. All right. I feel it. Uh, so... So, what are some of the paranormal thing? Ah, one more time. What are some of the paranormal things that guests tend to experience while staying here at the Georgian? Well, we have received a lot of calls um, about, you know, lights flickering, uh, missing possessions, random cold spots. But what we tend to get the most calls about uh, is apparitions. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one more time. Apparitions. <laughs> Keep your eye on the hole. All right. So uh, what are some of the paranormal things that guests tend to experience while staying here at the Georgian? Well, we have received calls uh, about lights flickering, um, missing possessions, random cold spots. Right. But what we seem to get the most about um, are calls. That's fine. See, even then, you could have saved it. <laughs> our calls. All right. No, how? Uh, what we get? Our just calls, uh, one more time. An apparition. Our calls about apparitions. Apparitions appearing. Right. Our calls about apparitions appearing in okay. people's photographs. And not in people's photographs, just in photographs. Yeah. Okay. okay. One more time. So uh, what are some of the paranormal things that guests tend to experience while staying here at the Georgian? Well, we do get a number of calls uh, about, you know, lights flickering, mm -hmm. uh, missing possessions, random cold spots. But what we tend to get the most calls about is apparitions um, appearing in photographs. Yeah, I heard about that. Um, we brought along a camera. I don't know if, uh, do you mind if we take a few pictures just to sort of test that out? Not at all. Okay, cool. That's good. Okay, well, we'll get those developed in post. We'll see how those turned out. Um, I understand you're leading us now to what you think is the most haunted spot in the Georgian. That's correct. Okay. Well, let's go. That's good. Okay. I have no lines. Tell me when to go when you're recording. Ready? Now. This particular elevator with a different... I went down to... <laughs> okay. okay, go. All right. Ready? Is there, I guess look at me when you say that, I guess. And action. Okay. This particular elevator has a dark history. Elevator shaft. Okay. One, two... This particular elevator has this particular elevator shaft has a dark history. See, then I have to read it. That's fine. Okay. okay. That, you can just okay. Reading it. All right. As soon as she says shaft, I zoom in. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. So. So okay. This particular elevator shaft has a dark history. Back in the 1930s, Ralph Valentino stayed at a hotel. <laughs> it is so obviously being read. <laughs> like she's like, <laughs> what does that say? Oh. My, 
Hi, vision. She's <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, then the, I'm gonna have to like go out and like memorize this and Actually, it's look, gonna look, be kind of obvious. Start start off with just her on on the uh, just the <laughs> camera on her the whole time. I'm not in, you, you only see my mic. So now just start reading. This particular elevator shaft has a dark history. Actually, you wanna actually hold the mic? Yeah, okay. that's good. This particular shaft <laughs> this particular elevator shaft, okay. Awesome. This particular elevator shaft has a dark history. And why am I looking at you? I'm looking at the camera, right? Hold the, the mic a little lower. Right there. Okay. This particular shaft. Okay, one, two. This particular elevator shaft has a dark history. Back in the 19... I have to look at it, right? Look it's it. fine? Look okay, it. I feel look like it's so it. obvious. Uh, look at it casually. Look at it uh, okay. actually the whole time. Okay. This particular elevator shaft has a dark history. Back in the... <laughs> So, yeah. This particular elevator shaft has a dark history. Back in the 1930s, Rudolph Valentino stayed at this. Sorry, I'm just reading just, it. Uh, Why am I? Yeah. Just read it. Okay, this particular conviction light. Like, okay, like you're like a telling a ghost story. Okay, maybe occasionally glance at the camera. Okay. okay, this particular elevator shaft has a dark history. Back in the 1930s, Rudolph Valentino stayed at our hotel a lot, and often with a different woman every night. One day, one of these women realized she was the only... Am I coughing? No, no, no. I'm, so, I'm just coughing all Okay, time. okay. So, but, yeah, throwing a cough every, every now and again. Okay, because I noticed them here. Coughing and uh, here say, okay. say <clears throat> this, okay. this particular ele ele elevator shaft has a dark history. Say, okay. like... You know, has a dark history. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Smile. <Yeah>. Okay. <laughs> okay. This particular elevator shaft has a dark history. Mm -hmm. No, that was bad. Over, uh, okay. This particular elevator shaft has a dark history. Back in 1930s, back in the 1930s, okay. This one, two. This particular elevator shaft has a dark history. Back in the 1930s, Rudolph Valentino stayed at our hotel a lot and often with a different woman every night. One of these women realized she wasn't the only one in Valentino's life. <laughs> so she committed suicide. Shit. Okay, go. This particular elevator shaft has a dark history. Back in the 1930s, Rudolph Valentino. Um, okay. You know what? I, I, have, I have a solution. Just uh, okay. Just read it right now. Read it. We'll just get okay. the audio. Okay. Right, here, uh, we'll start off with you talking about it, and then I'll, I'll give you this, and you just read it with as much conviction as you, as you can. Okay. Okay? So... Take it off first. I mean, yeah. Okay. So, start with This particular elevator shaft... More like... This particular... This particular elevator shaft has a dark history. Back in the 1930s, Rudolph Valentino stayed at our hotel a lot, and often with a different woman every night. <coughs> One day, one of these women realized she wasn't the only one in Valentino's life, so she committed suicide right here in this elevator. Say that again. Right here in this very elevator. Okay. Right here in this very elevator. Say that one more time. Uh, try reading it from over here, actually. So, again. This particular elevator shaft has a dark history. Back in the 1930s, Ruta Valentino used to stay here a lot. And one day... No, don't stop reading. Just yeah, this is here. For yeah. Okay. Now. Okay. 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 Here we go. This particular elevator shaft has a dark history. Back in the 1930s, Rudolph Valentino stayed at our hotel a lot, and often with a different woman every night. One day, one of these women realized she wasn't the only one in Valentino's life, so she committed suicide right here in this elevator. Wow. <laughs> Sorry, that was so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, I forgot it was my turn. All right, again. And try coughing every now and then. Okay. Again. This particular elevator shaft has a dark history. Back in the 1930s, Rudolph Valentino stayed here a lot, and often with a different woman every night. One day, one of these women realized she wasn't the only one in Valentino's life and committed suicide right here in this elevator. Wow. I forgot to cough on that one. Yeah. Read it a little slower. Okay, yeah, slower. Okay. Okay. Okay, hon. Okay. 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 Okay.
to the door because it's going to beep when it opens. So you can up. Sorry, let me see this really quick. Okay. Ready? This particular elevator has a dark history. Back in the 1930s, Rudolf Valentino used to stay here a lot at this hotel. That just caught me off guard. Okay. okay. It, we're not going to be seeing you for this. Okay. This part. Okay, so start again. 